everybody, Jack and Dylan here, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're talking all about our 2023 Trails West RPM Boondock Nation Edition. Guys, this trailer is our second home in the winter, and we could not be more stoked to share with you all the awesome features that this thing has. We've been working with Trails West for a few years, dialing in these things specifically for the person that travels to go riding, and we think that this trailer is the best one yet. So we'll be taking you through all the features inside, outside, along with answering some questions you guys have had and totaling up the cost to build one of these things. So let's get started. Lots of people are curious about where all the controls are at for the outside features up front here. So inside this little door is the jack control. You can lock this jack with a key Everything is pretty weatherproof in here. It keeps a lot of the grit out of the keyhole, um, which, is, which is great. So that's the jack control. Moving around to the front here, this front compartment contains the fuel dispensing system, the spare tire, propane tanks, and battery. Having easy access to all this stuff is great for filling propane tanks. And this fuel system allows us to fill up sleds multiple days on end. This trailer is equipped with two 40 gallon fuel cells positioned over the rear axles allows us to fill up with 80 gallons of premium before we head out to a sled destination. So moving on from what Jack was just showing there guys, I want to show you one of the biggest key features to the Boondock Nation trailer versus the other RPMs and that is we do not have a front ramp anymore. So the Boondock Nation omits the front ramp and moves the man door to the front of the trailer. This just allows you to get up in front of the snowmobiles when you're Climbing it out here, getting your gear, putting gas in the slides, it just kind of eliminates any monkeying around through the middle of the sleds. Uh, so that's something that we really liked and we feel like is a huge advantage to being on long road trips. Another thing we noticed too is when we we're loading up gear and we drop that big front ramp, we'd lose all of our heat out the side. So this allows you to go in and out a bit quicker and contain some of that heat inside the trailer. So guys, just a quick few things around the outside of the man door here is we have a folding step, we have this handle here, as well as a little light above the door which really helps see your footing when you're getting in and out of this thing in the dark and a nice little touch is the rain gutter up above the door here. Additionally on the exterior, you can add as many windows as you like. They've got some other options too. Our favorite, this gigantic awning. This is optional on any Trails West trailer and it's one of our favorite features. So as Jack mentioned earlier, this trailer is equipped with two 40 gallon fuel tanks. Where you fill those up is right here. There's a gas cap in the back of the axles, one in the front. This works out really well at the gas station, super convenient to fill these things up. You could fill up one tank with premium, one with race gas if you're into that, or however you need to do it there. Also, we have two fuel doors on this trailer, one at the back, one in the middle, and then by having the man door up front, it works really well with three rows of sleds to be able to hit them all at the pumps. Moving on to the back of the trailer here, you'll see some controls on the left-hand side, one of which is for the outside floodlights to help you out when you're loading up at night. The other is for the hydraulic rear door. The hydraulic door is just an awesome touch in the parking lot and not even having to touch this thing to lift it up and put it down is so convenient. Additionally, the Boondock Nation Edition has extra perimeter lights, ambers and reds around the outside to make this thing look awesome going down the road at night. I think that pretty much covers everything on the exterior of this trailer. So now guys, come inside and check out what's all going on in here. All right, you guys, we're now up in the trailer, up in the front of the trailer, that is. This is where we spend a lot of our time, keep a lot of our gear, and uh, kind of the most intimate portion of our trailer. So we're just gonna start off in here by showing you guys some of the key features that cater to exactly that. Yeah, so up in the front of the gooseneck here, you'll see that we've got the kicker sub and the power controller. Um, so up in the front of the trailer here, this is where all the breakers and all the power is run through. There's a solar panel on the roof and that's something that we do in our trailer um, because we're on the road so much. So while we're out riding for the day and it's sunny, 
that battery is charging through the solar panel. Now when we come home and plug it in at night, this power converter takes care of that. It's a smart charger for the batteries as well to extend your battery life. You'll also see there's a grate up in the front here. That is not an air return or anything for the furnace. It's just a vent um, for all the electronics back there. Um, but we have mounted a TV in that location in the past. There's a lot that you can do with that. So um, you'll see the kicker speakers up in the top corners as well. That turns this whole area into a speaker kind of projecting into the back. Yeah, pretty slick. These things definitely have a good sound to them when you get them turned up. Yeah, and that's all controlled by the head unit that's right here. It's Bluetooth, USB. Um, you'll also see other USB chargers up here and a voltage readout uh, for your battery that's standard. Um, so you can always see where those batteries are at. But this compartment here is felt lined as well. Um, so it's great for keeping electronics and whatever else you want charging up there. So right below that, that kind of brings us to a super cool part of this trailer, and that is the furnace. Obviously, this provides heat to the track mount system and the floor. It blows heat out of all these vents up here down there. But the coolest part is that it blows heat through this boot drying rack right here. So each one of these blows heat right out of the furnace at it. You can dry your boots, your gloves, whatever it is that you want to throw on there and uh, thaw out. It works great. Definitely a great feature being on the road. and. Uh, and sled trips and stuff like that. So next to the, the heating area here, you'll see a variety of different hooks at different heights. And that's for a reason. Um, these hooks right here being a little bit lower are nice for just hanging whatever you might have worn to the parking lot that day on your backpack, maybe um, some casual stuff, whatever. These are great for hanging uh, your snow pants off of. Your snow pants kind of being, you know, mid height keeps them up off the ground so your cuffs aren't a ball of ice at the floor and whatever else. And then above it here, standard on the Boondock Nation edition is the onesie rack. This is great. Onesies are super popular these days and there's not a good way to hang them in your trailer. So this solves that problem. Yes, and you'll notice on the floor here, below these rows of hooks, there's an additional row of floor heating holes. Um, so that blows warm air up through your gear and helps dry everything out really quickly. All right, so as you come through the front door from outside into this trailer, we have right here kind of a lot of stuff going on. There's some switches and uh, right here we have the thermostat to control the furnace. So there's a couple features here. There's a timer where you can set this furnace to run for a few hours and you want to dry the sleds out. And there's a temperature control. So both of these allow you to control your propane use. One question we got on our last trailer walkthrough video was how much propane do these things use? Now, this having the extreme cold weather package has a bit of extra insulation. Um, it's also got twice the furnace, so 80,000 BTUs of furnace. It heats up quick and it holds it well. So it uses a lot less propane than you might expect. Um, over the course of a few weeks, we typically go through two 20 pound cylinders. That's riding three, four, five days a week, using it for an hour or so on each end of riding. Um, so that math, I don't know, it comes out to 18 or 24 continuous hours, we think, um, of running this furnace, uh, is what you can expect to get out of a couple propane tanks. Along with the thermostat and everything else going on right here, we have the controls for the awning. Uh, we have an awning on the outside of our trailer this year, stoked to put that to use. Um, and right next to it, we have a breaker. So this, you can just shut off all the power to the entire trailer as you come in and out of the trailer, however that might be. From there, we've got the switches that control all the overhead lights, the lower interior lights, the exterior lights, and the vent fans up top. But Dylan, do you want to tell them a little bit about the lower interior lights? Yeah, so these lower interior lights are pretty cool. We've been using these a little bit, kind of experimenting with them for the last couple of years, and finally they are standard on our package now. So the reason that we have these lights the way that they are is if you're sitting on one of these fold down benches that come standard in the trailer, you can easily work on your clutching or anything like that inside of the side panel of your sled, inside the skid, um, it just kind of helps shine a little bit of light in there since we do so much wrenching out of these trailers. So um, that's a pretty sweet little feature and it's honestly kind of a nice just 
light that's not harsh or anything uh, in the trailer. So Yeah, and of course, if you're sitting down, you got to have some beverages close by. So cup holders are standard throughout the trailer. Um, the mirror is standard. The one thing we add to ours is the couch. Um, so it's really convenient to be able to sit here and talk about the day, what we're going to do, um, where we're going to go. Um, this couch also folds into a bed. So if you flip these legs out here, we have slept on this one once already. Nice sized bed uh, right in the trailer here. So you put one person there, one person up in the gooseneck and you can sleep a couple people pretty comfortably. Above that is a heated helmet cabinet where you could store four helmets. Nothing better than putting on a toasty lid in the morning. Um, it also dries them out at the end of the day. So heat is ducted from the furnace right in here and it can blow out the vents in the side of this. Um, so it keeps air moving through there. Really nice to have that heated storage. Totally a slick feature next to the heated helmet storage is just kind of a storage cabinet. So it's just got a shelf in the middle. We store some straps in there, some garbage bags, whatever else. Um, but got to have a spot for just your random junk. Moving on to the back of the trailer, we do most of our wrenching back here. So that's why we located the workbench right where it's at. There's also a 110 outlet directly above it. So any power tools or drill chargers or anything conveniently located right here. Um, in addition to that, there's the tunnel sling. So you can hang the front or rear of your sled from the ceiling here, uh, which is super convenient for doing shock work, you know, anything involved with the suspension, carbides, that type of thing. Yep. Also on the ceiling is a vent fan. So there's a vent fan in the back here and up front. Um, you can change the direction of these fans to blow in or out. Really helpful for circulating air through here, removing exhaust and moisture. You know, as you're thawing out sleds multiple days in a row, all that snow dripping off into the warm atmosphere inherently creates moisture. This helps get that out. So using this trailer year round the way that we do, we've been known to put some things in here other than just our snowmobiles. So with that being said, we've got these D-loops here in the floor. They work great for towing or strapping down anything, you know, that's not a snowmobile inside the trailer or your snowmobile, frankly. And there are four sets of those D-rings kind of placed wherever you think you might need them in the trailer here. Um, over here at the back of the trailer, we have an organizer very similar to the one at the front. You can put oil, whatever you want to use it for, that's totally cool. Um, a whole pile more of USBs. I know we mentioned there was a bunch of USBs up in the front too, but a whole bunch more back here. And then um, we got some packs hanging from the hooks here. The USBs, you can kind of get the gist, anything you might need to charge electronically inside of your Abbey gear. Um, this is a great spot to do any of that. As we get to the very back of the trailer here, we've got one feature that we added a couple of years ago to our trailers and we probably won't ever go back. <laughs> that is the race doors. Having these race doors in the back, being able to open and close them very easily is super beneficial for us when we're doing testing or wrenching or anything like that and even just getting going in the morning. Yeah. Typically gonna make a few trips in and out of the trailer, having all the sleds out back, going in and out for oil, that type of thing. It keeps the heat inside the trailer really well. Also lets a lot of natural light in. Love that. Really love the natural light coming in in the morning. That's the best. One cool thing at the back of the trailer, and this is something that is brand new for 2023, is this extra drain back here. So you can kind of see that there's a groove and on either side of this are two plugs that you can pull. So if you have a bunch of snow and ice and water on your back ramp when you close it, it will fall into there, melt, and then be able to drain right out of the trailer, not creating a big uh, ice dam right at the hinge of your door here. So that's a pretty cool thing. Again, Trails West just always trying to improve what they can. Um, it's great and excited to test that out this winter. All right, guys, now that you've seen every feature that's on our Boondock Nation edition this year, what do you think? How much does this thing cost? The answer is about 70,000 bucks. That's the number one question that we get whenever we're showing this thing off. And for us, that's an easy price to pay because we practically live out of this thing in the winter. This thing is our mobile shop. It's our second home. It's everything to us. So guys, follow us all winter long as we take this thing and travel all across the country, checking out the coolest sled destinations this winter. And we'll see you guys in the next video.